This is the Huawei P40 Pro and in today's video I am going to talk about mainly on the camera functions of this phone. Um, so I got this from Huawei two weeks ago. I haven't been able to go to a lot of places because of the lockdown but I did manage to take it to Sydney Park and uh, I did manage to shoot something around the house as well. Um, but before we get into it, I'm just going to show you, quickly show you what comes with the box. So this is the box that it comes with. Everything seems uh, quite uh, well made actually. Um, and then the phone, when you open it, and this is, this is just a phone um, with the cover on it. Um, everything seems pretty uh, high quality, good build. Um, what you have here is uh, a phone case that comes with it, um, the, uh, the pin, then this is the uh, this is the headphones and the chargers and the uh, and the cables, uh, which is pretty standard. Um, so let's have a look at the phone itself. Um, I did open it already, so this is just me wrapped it back on, uh, so it looks a kind kind of rough. But the phone itself, it actually looks pretty good. So they sent this blue color to me. If you can focus on it, this is what it looks like from the back. So this here is the camera. Uh, it actually is shaped just like the phone itself. Uh, on top of it, it's got three major cameras. They're all powered by Leica. When you open the phone, you get um, a standard process of setting it up, which is pretty straightforward, just like any uh, OS. Uh, I had no problem uh, setting it up. I've already pre-installed um, some of the applications, but you, you can go into its uh, app gallery to download most of the apps that you f can find on uh, many Android or iOS system. Let's just go through some of my photos. So this first one that I took is uh, this orchid, uh, this uh, lily I did uh, a few a while back. I did a time lapse with uh, my Canon camera, um, but at the same time I did a few shots with this camera. Um, some of them are using its 50 megapixel raw function, uh, which. It's pretty amazing, to be honest. The details and the megapixels, it looks quite good. Um, you gotta have to give it to Leica and uh, whatever they did to this phone. Um, and then the second thing I did is to test the uh, stability of the video shooting. Um, so I did uh, a little bit of a, te uh, a camera movement to uh, kind of see if I could do this uh, dolly turn sort of effect with just a phone, um, which it comes out pretty good. So there's another thing that I, I did uh, test is um, it's a night photo function. The night photo function, I gotta say it's quite impressive. And uh, I took a photo of my dog Murphy, which uh, uh, you can see here. And he's a black dog. Uh, have you ever tried to shoot photos of a black dog in a fairly dark environment? Um, the, the thing is, you won't be able to see its eyes or you won't be able to even see what it is. It's just a black shadow running around. Um, but this phone, oddly enough, it catches everything, the details, even inside, even, even the hair strays. Um, I'll, I'll put on a comparison uh, which I did from my iPhone XS Max uh, and you guys will see the difference. And here is just a little snapshot of uh, um, just outside my balcony at night time. Uh, that's just uh, the first day when I had it. I had a little bit test. And once I got into it and figured out some of the functions like the aperture or slow motion, I got completely blown out by how good it looks like. Um, for example, I'll just, I'll just show you what the slow motion looks like and you tell me if you can tell this is shot from a phone or a high-end uh, video camera.
So another thing I want to mention is the aperture mode. So I'm no expert on how they engineered this phone, um, but I did hear about um, how they blur out the background. They, they, they blurred the background based on the amount of uh, the time the light travels from the object to the camera. So the further it travels, the more blur it gets. Uh, I did also shoot some footage of my fish tank, uh, which as you can see here, this is the little coral that's moving and that's using the aperture mode. Um, the, the little mandarin fish here, if you, if, I don't know if you can see him, that's that little fish that moves around like a submarine. Pretty cool. Another day I took it to the city and I did a little walk around the harbor. Unfortunately it was raining and but luckily the cloud looks pretty good uh, as you can see here and this is the photos of the harbor and uh, some videos as well. And I also took the phone out uh, to Sydney Park, as I mentioned. I went and uh, tried to do a little of testing with the front camera and the back camera when you do vlogs. And this is how it looks like. This is the Huawei P40 Pro. And currently I'm filming with the aperture mode on. Uh, this mode only allows you to use the front camera. But what it does is it actually uh, blurs out the background and it makes it look uh, very smooth and uh, pleasing, as you can see. If you want to shoot vlog, you probably want to use the wide mode, which I am currently using, to get that whole scenery inside the frame. So the front mode is a little bit narrower, but uh, it allows you to see what's happening in the frame. So my thoughts on this phone is I will probably use it for some of my vlog events. Um, instead of carrying my camera out, uh, this is pretty, uh, this is much convenient. And, uh, and this could actually do what my camera does some of the time, uh, most of the time actually, especially in low light and uh, for some of those background blurriness and those bokeh magic um, and in low light it does wonders uh, so I think if you are thinking about recording your daily life but don't want to go through the hassle of finding which camera to use what lens to buy what lights to go to what light to go to uh, or how heavy it is this could be perfect for you because based on my experience I could uh, easily edit a good quality vlog out of it. And if you guys don't believe me, check out my next video.